I'm Justin, I'm going to show you that it's so easy to replace your screen in an Acer Aspire 1 model D255-1203 that even I can do a 13 year old. And the first thing is to make sure you have all your tools. What you'll need is a small Phillips head screwdriver and you'll also need an X-Acto knife. The first step is to take your laptop flip it over um, and you want to pull this pin or this uh, clip to the side and pull and hold this clip to the side and then pop your battery out and then you want to flip it back over and open it up and you see these two circles here and here, you're going to want to take your X-Acto knife and pry them out. Make sure to put your finger on top because they can fly. And then stick them to the screen so you don't lose them. And then they're just sticky. So, it's... And then, just do that. And then take your Phillips head screwdriver and gently take out the two screws, making sure not to lose them. and put them right next to each other and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to gently pry up the bezel that is holding the screen in place along with a couple of screws so gently pry that out And take that and put it to the side. And now what there is is there's four screws you need to remove. One here, one there, one there, and one there. So just go ahead and take those out now. Making sure not to lose them again. Put them all in a pile. And separate from the last pile of screws. and put them to the side like that and then the screen should just come right out after you remove a cable but it should pop right out of the spot that's in oh up here just if you need to you can pull this out this connector here for the camera Very careful not to damage the cord. And then pull your screen right out. And you just want to untape it, the cord for the camera. And you can just take the tape off. And just go ahead and reconnect that. Take a minute to get it in place. Like it is taking me a little while. Then just once you get it in place, just push it right back on in. And then we want to just gently take the exact knife and cut around here you can just take this plastic off
to the side. Gently pull out the tab and the uh, connector here. Then your old screen is out. Now it's time to put in the new one. What you have to do is take it out of all its protective packaging it comes with. Take off the screen cover. What you want to do is just gently lay it down on your keyboard like the last one was. And then put the tab back in. Connector, whatever you call it. Gently making sure not to force it too hard. Okay. And then if you want, you can put this plastic piece back on here. Flip it over. Line it up with the holes. Make sure the cord is in its good spot. And just carefully, without dropping the screws, start putting them back in. Do one corner first, and then next you'll want to do the opposite corner. That kind of holds it in place. And then do the other two. Making sure not to make these too tight. You don't want to crack anything or break anything. Just about as tight as you find them, which isn't too tight. Now, take the bezel. Start popping it back into place. You just need to line it up for that and then start pushing it together. As you hear, it should pop together pretty easily. And then take and put your screws back in for this. These are the silver screws. The last ones were the black ones. You might get an extra pop when you put the screws in. If you do, oops. You might want to go over again, make sure everything was all popped back in. And it was pretty good. Now take the little circles, put them back over the screws, and you're almost done. Now all you have to do is close it, flip it over, and put your battery back in. That's pretty much it. Now just open it up, turn it on, and it should work. As this one does. Thanks for watching.